guys from last time. What's up? This is Casey from Casey's Customs. This series, I'm building a hot rod for under $3,500. In this video, we got our lights working. We get our brand new hubcaps installed. We finally take it for a cruise down to the car wash, and then we get started working on this hammered roof. Let's get going. What's up? It is Casey from Casey's Customs. We are back on the beautiful 1951 Chevy. And to start this episode, my dad actually has the day off of work. And we are going to beat the living hell out of this roof. The roof is in really bad shape. It actually had a tree land on it. I think it had an accident first. Then it had a tree land on it. So <laughs> it needs quite a bit. So let's get to hammering. hours later so we beat on this roof for probably two hours and now i don't know what shows up in video or what doesn't because when i'm looking at this through my video it still looks really rough but i promise it is a thousand times better i had like four inch deep dents across here they were so bad they were affecting the windshield width in certain sections but we got those all beat up this whole side over here came up like six whole inches like it actually changed the shape of the roof the other side was even worse. We got it banged around and brought up even more. Like this one was so bad that my door was sagging down like two full inches. Still have a long ways to go. Still gotta do a lot of minor dolly work. What I mean by that is just basically now that we got everything up, I gotta go in here and smooth out all these high spots with a dolly and a hammer. But the act of bringing everything up like five or six inches in certain spots is just huge. And like I said, I don't know how bad or how good it looks on camera. I'm gonna try and find some old footage where I took when I first got it. But I mean, there's a reason this was a $600 car. It was so beat up, nobody wanted it. And if I remember right, the wreck or the tree that laid on it, whatever it was, that is what made it sit since the 60s. I mean, it's a, it's a 1951 and if I remember right, they drove it for like seven or eight years and then it got in an accident on the side and then a tree landed on it and it sat the whole rest of the time. So there's there a reason it was so cheap. <laughs> Other than that, it was the rust. But it is a beautiful Saturday. It's actually like 50 degrees outside, which is huge this time of the year. I just got the hubcaps in. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the hubcaps in and we're gonna take it for a little spin. I wanna take it down to the car wash. It should be open. And uh, it is the car wash you might get stabbed at. So we gotta be a little bit careful. But uh, I wanna buzz it down there, get it washed up. And then I wanna take it to the parking lot and kind of just take some pictures of it, take a video of it, just all cleaned up and looking good with its hubcaps on. So let's put the hubcaps on. Ooh, check them out. Damn, they look good. Those were cheap as hell too. I think they were, I think they were like 15 bucks each or $14 each. I got them off some trailer website. Super cheap. Awesome. All right, let's take our first spin. All right, let's see what happens. Makes me happy every time. Still need to fix my chair. Way too high. Look at that 50 over there. Looks good.
that's wet. <laughs> Are you wet, baby? Yeah, a little bit. I think that's better. I can't tell. Oh, here, here, here. <laughs> so I can already tell, since I don't have a windshield, all the water on that hood is going to go on me, which is fucking annoying. It's not great water either. I probably just got Corona. Look at this thing. I pulled over here to take some pictures. I've had two people stop. <laughs> it seems like everybody just stops in this parking lot. I need to figure out a better spot. I mean, look at it. I've just been staring at it for like the last 10 minutes. My taillight gasket should be in here this week too, so decided to get my lights in. But, I mean, check it out. See, it really looks good. I love the way that flows. Just, whoosh, everything's just falling out the back. You guys know me, I like to chop everything, but man, factory fleet line roof just looks bitching it could be a little shorter i'm not gonna lie to you but <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna do it i'm waiting on parts i want to get the taillight lenses in and then i want to wire the headlights and taillights and i want to come down here and shoot some sparks one night i was driving the other day you know with the it's got titanium blocks if you don't know and i was doing spark runs basically you lay the <laughs> you lay the ass in all the way to the ground and then you drive and it drags the titanium and they have like a white spark and during the day it just wasn't very impressive also i think i need to adjust the blocks a little bit but i want to come down here when my lights are working at night and just start throwing some sparks man she's cool <laughs> it is time to start stripping this roof and get it ready for body work it is in really really bad shape i've got a lot of the dents out i'm gonna beat around on them a little bit more before i'm ready for bondo but it's close I got a new tool from Eastwood. It's called an SCT. This thing is a beast. It comes with a bunch of different drums. Throw a drum on it and it just rips through paint like this. I mean, it's just bam, bam, bam. Has a whole lot of power. Big, big fan of it. But uh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time, get some of this stuff stripped down real quick, and uh, we can probably start body work on it. I got feelings for you on my mind. I had to put it in time lapse because it was just throwing rust dust everywhere. <laughs> that thing is an absolute beast. Worked out good. Went down to bare metal some spots. Some spots I really didn't need to go down to bare metal in, but that's beside the point. Really showed off how bad the uh, roof is. I'm gonna whack around that a little bit more, but for now I'm gonna work on the tail lights because I don't have any bondo, so there's no point of really doing any more. I'm like I said, I'm gonna hit a couple more dents out and then we're gonna start throwing some bondo on it. The good news is, today I got in all my parts to rebuild my taillights. I got new gaskets, new lenses, everything. What I'm going to do, though, this is the original pitted aluminum. They chrome them, and it just looks like garbage. And they're about 200 bucks new. That's not going to work on a budget build very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand these down. You can kind of get a nice finish out of them by sanding them down with like a Scotch-Brite and, you know, different levels of sandpaper. So that's what we're going to do, and then we're going to rebuild them. So let's get to sanding. <laughs> Not too bad, not perfect, but it'll work on this one. All right, let's put it together. So here's what I meant by rebuild them. I got lenses, gaskets. These are actually supposed to be reflectors, but they're LEDs now, which is badass. I didn't know they were doing that until I ordered them. Uh, I got new sockets, new bulbs, new everything. So we're gonna go ahead, put all this together. All right, check it out. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> Sweet. That is cool as hell. These are normally just reflectors. That's badass, they light up, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna go get some Bondo now. I got this roof pretty close, it's not bad. I've been hammering a little bit more. Uh, in reality, this roof should probably be reskinned. At the very least, this skin cut off, smoothed, and then put back on. This is a rat rod. This actually ain't the one to worry about. I mean, look at the roof. The roof is kind of shitty, too. <laughs> but anyways, I said all that to say we're going to go ahead and get started on the body work. I want to go ahead and get the Bondo work done so we can get some primer on it and figure out what we're going to do with the lace roof. We're kind of bouncing around ideas. I got a buddy of mine doing some photoshops for me. The goal is to go for kind of subtle. I don't want a crazy 
crazy, lead, you know, lace job uh, that just draws your eye straight to it. Because I do want to kind of keep the patina, the old look to it. So they, they did do lace up back in the day. Um, it doesn't, I'm not going for like an 80s lowrider theme. But either way, I want this all cleaned up. Even if I decide to not do lace, I want to get all this smoothed out and at least get the patina green back on its work and kind of match. Let's do some body work, baby. So the Bondo's taking a while to dry because it's like cold. I'm not turning the heater off right now. Me and Emma, are, we're having a conversation. It's okay, everything's fine. So what I'm gonna do while I'm waiting for Bondo to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and start wiring up my headlights and my taillights. Oh, I got my taillights installed. I don't know if I showed you. Oh, <laughs> sitting pretty, sitting pretty. New York City. It's late, I'm tired, sorry. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start wiring up my headlights and taillights. I have the wiring from the blazer that still ran basically where the headlights should be and where the taillights should be. So it shouldn't be too hard. But now that I say that, I think I cut them all. So it could be hard. I don't know, <laughs> let's get to it. I was gonna hook up these new lights um, to my brakes, but I don't love how dull these are. I even got like LED bulbs in them and everything. They're just kind of dull from the, just the, the size of them basically. So I wanted to go ahead and have these on as my running lights um, whenever the, or just whenever the lights are on rather not running lights. But the brake lights are still plenty bright. You can definitely tell a difference, but um, I think they look good being on. I don't like whenever, your taillights are on, especially on old cars. It's just, they're all kind of this way. Taillights are on and they just look like a little dot, <laughs> you know, in the middle of the highway. So I wanted it to be a little bit brighter. So I hooked those up that way. I mean, it doesn't matter which way you hook them up, but I think a lot of people usually put them on brakes. Sweet. Oh, I don't know if I showed you too. I got the, I got the headlights all done too. Still waiting on this. That is not drying very fast, which is upsetting. Check it out. Got the headlights looking good. Love it. Very, very happy. It might be dry enough now to sand it. You can kind of sand it when it's still tacky. So I might do it a little bit and then probably call this an episode because this is already going to be a ton of footage that we're going to have to go through. So we spent a couple hours just beating on the roof the other day. So, and I filmed a lot of it. Ding, 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 ding. Let's do a little bit of sanding and call it a day. Check this out. Entire shop is covered in Bondo dust. Good news is the roof is looking really, really good. Actually really nice. I don't know how any of this is gonna show up on camera, but it looks perfect. With my dad's hours in this week as well, this video was about 40 hours this week, which is just entirely too many, but very happy. Took it for a cruise. Went to the car wash, got the hubcaps on, they look perfect. And then we also got our lights working. And basically the roof's about 75% done. So stay tuned on the next video. We will finish up the body work on that roof, get it in primer, and maybe start the painting process. So I'm done, I'm going to bed, it's late. Love you. peace. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm so excited to finally get the roof taken care of. It has been an eyesore the entire build. I've tried to hit it up a couple times on my own, couldn't get anything done. Me and my dad really went after it and got it out to where it needs to be. And the body work's about halfway done. In the next video, we get all the body work taken care of. And hopefully we can get started on doing the paint job on the roof. Stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff they tell you the end of videos and check out some more of my other videos. Peace, love ya.
Daddy's my mom.